Hello, my name's Glenn and I'm the pastor of New Life Baptist Church and, and welcome to my back garden. It's my base camp at the moment and here at New Life we, we believe the Lord's given us a very simple vision of church as a base camp where we get out of the church building and into the neighbourhood with Jesus. So here's five things that uh, our leadership believes that the Lord has been teaching us during lockdown about base camp. First of all, rest. Jesus says, come to me. If you're weary and burdened, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And one of the things Jesus is teaching us now is to be at home in the neighbourhood like he was. Jesus says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength and love your neighbour as yourself. Uh, we try to practice that as a church. Uh, but one one of the things we struggle with perhaps is is being so busy that we don't find the time to be with our neighbours. And during this enforced time uh, in the neighbourhood, we, we've, we've learned a lot of things about how good that is and how good it is for us to live out our faith beside our neighbours, loving God and loving them. So as a church, we want to commit to that going forward to create a rhythm for church life that allows that for us eh, to eh, bless us and bless those around us. Secondly, we breathe. We breathe in the Holy Spirit. And as we do so, the Holy Spirit fills us with courage to share our faith, to tell our story. That's what we saw happening at Pentecost, eh, not long after Jesus' resurrection, the fearful disciples became disciples full of courage because they'd been filled with the Holy Spirit and they stood up and explained to the people who were interested and in asking questions what it what it meant what the good news of Jesus meant for them and for others around them thirdly we pray we pray with Jesus give us this day our daily bread we've been discovering that we're not in control of everything we can't guarantee our own security in and of ourselves we need to find that elsewhere and, and the place we find that is in God who provides for us day by day uh, and so one of the things that's come out of these last two months which is very good is just that daily dependence in our Abba Father God trusting him to provide our daily bread and then for us to share what we have with those around us then we prepare. Jesus says, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And again, another thing we've been seeing is people taking responsibility for their own walk of faith with the Lord Jesus. At the end of the day, it's our responsibility to choose to follow Jesus. And uh, we want to help you, encourage you to do that in every way, to equip you in every way to follow Jesus. Uh, and, and, and start to follow him day by day for yourselves. And lastly, we go. We go and make disciples of all nations. One of the great things we've discovered about online church is that it's very easy for people to connect in with us. And it's very easy for us to invite our friends, families, uh, neighbours to watch along with us as we gather on a Sunday online to worship God or with our daily devotions day to day, just to tell people that that's what we're doing and say, why not join us? Why not come and worship the living God uh, with us? These are the five things that we feel that are really important for us as a church going forward. And we invite you to join with us as we pitch our base camp tent in the neighborhood, resting in the love of God, breathing in his spirit, praying for our daily bread, preparing to follow Jesus, and then inviting others to join us as we follow him. Thanks.